Hey everybody, Cool Marine here. So, look, we, we're gonna cut um, this for our borders. I think I'm gonna go with a four inch border. So, the new people, new new quilters, okay? <clears throat> the selvage, all right? I'm, I'm gonna be cutting along the line of selvage, all right? Selvage has, you know, this white border on it. It tells you who made it, the number, you know, the, the num number of what the, that corresponds with what pattern you have and that type of information but we're cutting that off okay <clears throat> so the thing you need to know is when you're cutting along the selvage when you fold it a few times or fan folded you want to make sure that while you're cutting along the selvage that you're getting along the selvage all right you want to make sure that you're matched up on the edge all right you don't want to be cutting along the selvage and then you still have some white strip left because you didn't fold or you didn't catch the edge don't measure don't um fold it from this edge you should be folding from this edge, all right? That's the edge you want to stay true on, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this thing over so I can cut it. We're going for four-inch borders, right? So what I'm going to do is I want to get a true edge on this first before I cut my four inches. So let's put that on a two-inch two, two inch line there. All right, when in doubt, just, you know, pull it away from the line, okay? We're going to cut on a two-inch line there, all right? You don't want to be wasting too much fabric, but you want to get a nice good cut, all right? Let me bust out my Austin Powers laser. And let's put on a two, two inch line there. Let's make sure we get it down here. Look at that, that's way off, all right? Let's move this thing down here. And that's two, all right? That's two. That's two. Okay. So I'm going to cut here. Cut once. Measure 900 times, but cut once. Another lesson I learned taking on the fabric or, or the quilting craft. All right. So we're on two inch here. Let's get a cut here. All right. So we're going to do four inch borders. All right. So let's move this thing over. Make it simple on the jar head here, okay? All right, we're going to one. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to zero so we can get show everybody how we're doing this. All right, look at that nice edge, okay? We're going to four. We're going to do a four inch border, all right? So my laser is not going to fit there, so we're going to go without it for right now. Let's go to the four. I'm gonna put my weight on here so I'm not moving. And those sticky, those sticky circle things that I put on here, they work great. Another thing I need to evaluate, I guess, because they are awesome. I love them. All right, four inch. You think I should do a four inch? Four inch border is kind of huge, right? It looks a little big. Maybe three inch, huh? I think I'm maybe three inch. Four inch border. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's go with three. Okay, we'll do a three-inch border. Moving to three, just made an adjustment. All right, another great thing about quilting, you can adjust on the fly. I love it. I love it. All right, here we go. Three-inch border, cutting away. All right, you see me cut away, right? I'm cutting away from myself. I don't want the quilting police to show up, and make an arrest. All right, three. Here we go. Let's go to six. Let's make sure it's down the line there. Let's go to six here. Six. And six. Got six. Numero nine oh, is that how you say it? Nine oh. <laughs> That's not how you say. It. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. All right, so nine. And I'm just going with four cuts for right now because there's something else I want to show you because I already know that this fabric 
this cut of fabric that I have, 12 here, will not make it lengthwise. But I want to show you how to attach two pieces together to make your length up, okay? Great technique. I wish I would have created it, but I didn't, all right? And let's open one up, okay? So look at this. I think this is two yards. I think this is about two yards, maybe. Okay? There's no way. You saw how we opened that up. There's no way this is going to make up, okay? But there's a technique that you can do, all right? In which you attach two pieces together to make up the length, all right? Now, I'm hoping I'm going to teach this thing right, okay? So the way you do it is you lay a piece down, okay? And then you put another piece like this, facing. This is the look you want right here, okay? And then you're gonna pin it. In this angle, you're gonna pin it, all right? Because we're gonna stitch, let's use our laser. This is the angle you're gonna stitch in. See that? We're going this way, okay? Because when you go that way, and you open it up, it's a 45 degree stitch and it matches just like that, okay? Now you could sew it this way, I mean, you could sew it the good old fashioned way where you're sewing it, you know, straight on. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? You could sew straight on, there is nothing wrong with that, all right? You may get a ticket from the, from the quilting police on appearance, but I'll never judge you, okay? This is what I used to do until I learned this. But I'm going to teach you this because this is what we're here for, right? We're here to help each other, okay? So the thing that I've learned while, while, while doing this stitch, okay, is making sure that you start your stitch here in that, that corner, okay? And the straighter you keep that line going to this corner, the better it is when you open it up. The better it will match up on the edge right here, okay? When you're off, You'll see it because it'll be opened up like that or you see how it's like not lined up or it'll be this way where it's down that way. Okay. So you want to be low and slow. Okay. Like a Harrier. All right. Marines teacher wise with a Harrier. Is. Okay. So here we go. AV8B Harrier. All right. So. I'm going to have to get my wife to come over so we can really show you how we got to do this. Because <laughs> I've sewn this thing in so many crazy ways. But there's really only one way to do it, okay? What you want is, the way I remember to do it is the number seven. You want the number seven in front of you. See how it looks like the number seven? All right? This way and this way. All right? You don't want L. You want the number seven. Seven in front, then diagonal away. That's what I tell myself. It's like shooting, okay? Slow to my nose. Well, all right, we're working off subject. All right, seven in front, diagonal away. So all you're going to do is turn this way under your machine, all right? Remember, you want to kind of keep that, you want to keep that direction going. So what I'll do is, before I do anything, I want to make sure that I'm going in a straight line, right? And I want my straight line to end in that crease right there. Now, I don't get it every time. I don't, I don't. And sometimes I don't even try to because what? That's right. It's only fabric and it's only thread. You got it, okay? Don't wrap yourself around the wheel about it, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's take a look here. Let me see, make sure I'm straight. All right. So when I make sure I'm straight, I'm looking at this end and this end, okay? So let's take a look at that, all right? This is what I'm looking for, all right? Pretty much, my hand is shaking, all right? I want that, that line right there, see that? Does that help? I hope that helps, okay? All right, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> So, we made our, 
we made our stitch. Let's pull our pin here. And then we open it up. Okay? That's what we're going for. All right? And I'm not bragging. I'm actually kind of surprised they came out like that. <laughs> I'll be honest, all right? Look, they don't come out like that all the time for me. I was like this. All right? It came out. But this is what we're going for, all right? It, it takes a little getting used to. I might actually hang this on the wall because I think this is the first one I got. That was really good. All right? This is really good. All right, so we take it to the iron. All right, so all this extraness are crumbs. This part right here, what I'll do is... This is what I use for my crumbs right here. I'll come over, I'll cut up, I'll cut like along the edge there, and then a quarter of an inch, all right? Or somewhere around there, you know? It's only fabric, it's only thread, okay? This is what I do. You can use your rotary cutter too. I just like using scissors, okay? I wasn't allowed to play with them when I was a kid, so I play with them now, okay? Yeah, I was the kid. You know the, you know the symbol of um, somebody running with scissors? That was me, all right? Okay, so now I'll press the seam. Turn it over, look at that. You can barely see it, right? You have to look for it to find it. Unlike a vertical line, you'll be able to find that right away because your eye picks up the, the vertical, you know, that line easier than it would this diagonal line. All right, so look, we cut our little crumbs. I'm not, don't throw these away, guys. All right, new quilters, because they go to the bucket. All right, this is my crumbs and scraps bucket, and this is what I pick out of to do my crumb. But all right, let's go back. So look at this. Now look at what we got. See? Look at that. All right, I haven't measured it, but I don't think it's long enough yet. But better to have more than not enough. Okay, so you get the point, right? So get on it, all right? Catch up or finish, those of you who passed me already, okay? Hey, remember when uh, in school they hand out a paper and they say, don't start yet? All right, everyone would start and I would still be sitting there waiting to know when I'm supposed to start. All right, those of you who are already ahead, we're moving on to Daisy Cutter, all right? and. Those of you who have been watching videos have probably seen the daisy cutter pattern behind me. I had to take it down because no cheating allowed, okay? But I'm proud of you. You're doing great. Especially my new quilters. You are doing excellent. I love it, all right? Just hang in there. It'll come to you. Don't wrap yourself around a wheel, okay? Thanks for watching. Please remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.